Broadcasting to the world from South Jersey, this is Anything Goes with Phil Rossi and J.J. Golick. A weekly podcast with different topics every week. The views and opinions on this show are entirely those of the hosts, guests, and callers. And do not necessarily reflect the views or opinions of any businesses or organizations mentioned during the show. And now, it's Anything Goes with Phil Rossi and J.J. Golick. Yo, yo, what is going on? What has happened? This is Anything Goes. My name is Phil Rossi alongside my compadre... Of course, that is J.J. Golick. J.J., what's good? Live from the Phil Rossi bachelor pad. Yes, yes. Now, you said that shit. I didn't. Yeah, I did. Okay. I said it. All For right. the record, I said it because you should see this place. I think I think you like it here. I do like it here. It's like my second home. You think it's your second home. This is just visiting. After this, I'm kicking your ass out the door. Absolutely. Just as it always is. <laughs> so today, I know this is something that's very near and dear to your heart that you want to talk about. <laughs> He said, "Is it? Now is you, it? Now this is episode uh, number twenty-five. You've been you've been itching to do an episode like this. You said you like I really. <laughs> you always bring it up, and I'm like, Have JJ, I? I don't think it's time for that right now. It's a kind of a little bit of a touchy subject, right? So we always kind of steered away from it. But the thing you've always wanted to talk about since episode one, and we've delayed it twenty-four episodes, is your manscaping. Oh, mine, right?" <laughs> Oh, sure. You, you know what I hate about these cuts is that they're too long and it's right in the middle of something important that I'm actually always trying to say. Yeah, well, guess what? So let's go. Miriam Webster, the definition of manscaping, JJ. And I know you read this because this is like, this is on your home screen as your background on your phone. Totally. It is the trimming or shaving of a man's body hair so as to enhance his appearance. Mm hmm. You know all about it. I do. Now, would you say for yourself personally, you're a manscaper? I mean, on a technicality, I guess you would be because I shave my face every day. No, I don't mean your face. Well, so okay, l- listen, relax, see, relax, see, relax. You already go. See. You already go into the balls. Me, I said my face. <laughs> no, no. So you shave your face. <laughs> do, do you tweeze your eyebrows? No. You don't tweeze your eyebrows. No. Do you tweeze in between your two eyebrows? No. Does hair grow in between your eyebrows? No. Okay, maybe that's why. Now, if hair grew in between your eyebrows, would you? Hmm. Good question. I've never had that problem, so I guess I don't know. So you would have a unibrow, as in you would have one long one eyebrow? Probably not. All right, so you would? Probably. <laughs> All right, so you would sh- you, you don't shave your eyebrows because it's not necessary because for some reason hair does not grow in between your eyebrows like a normal human being. Sure. You shave? Absolutely. Your face? Yes. Now, have you ever shaved your chest? No. Actually, Hillary said she would kill me if I ever considered it to. Oh, interesting. She so, said so, she'd kill so, me. so let's go. Let's let's dive a little deeper. Oh, deeper. Now, this this mother. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, uh, so you're saying so you're saying Hillary's an old school woman. She likes a man with a little hair on the chest. Mm-hmm. She told me if I shave it, I'm dead. So, so you're saying you got a you got a nice manly hairy I chest. I do. I do. Oh shit, <laughs> he's pretty confident. Yeah, yeah, that's my yeah, I got it. Yeah, I do. Now, now, do you shave your armpits? No. Okay. And before you can even get to it, no, I do not. So you, you don't you don't shave below no. the belt? No. Not at all? Nope. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> not at all? No. Have you ever once? No. Have you ever considered it? Yes. Okay. Now, now let me ask you, why did you consider it? Because you thought it was everybody else was doing it? Well, I don't know what other people do, so... Well, you've seen a lot of other, like, men. Like, no. Like, naked. No. <laughs> yes, you have. <laughs> I was walked in on you. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I pull up here today to do the show and Phil's like, hold on. I'm in the shower. I'm like, great. Now, now I'm going to be out here for a while. Yeah. I mean, I got to get done, you know? Yeah. Got to look good. Smell good. For right. what? <laughs> for you. Oh, thanks. Cause I know you really, it really helps you. Wow, thank it really you. helps you yes. do the show. Helps right. me do the show. Yeah. So you've never, no. that's interesting. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's you pretty know? good. Natural. Now, so that's what you like now. So Hillary likes all natural. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. This is getting good. Yeah. We're getting some. We're getting some inside details live from Phil Rossi's bachelor pad. Now I'm not going to ask you because it's way too personal to ask what uh, what Hillary does. I am not disclosing any information. Now, have you ever talked to a woman or been with a woman who has that his she she was uh well not manscaping but keeping things clean trim. 
Oh, absolutely. Oh, shit. Absolutely, but we're not going to get into that because... Because Hillary listens to this? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry, Hillary. We're, we're, we're not going to... Yeah. JJ's a very faithful man to you. I am. I am. Yes, he he's a good dude. I try to be. He is. Try to be a good guy. So... Especially when you work in this industry, you see all kinds of shit. You know what I mean? Like what kind? Like good stuff? I mean, what could be potentially good stuff to somebody who's single. Mm-hmm. I mean, you got to watch what you say, too. Yeah, you're right about that, my friend. So... I think we're both in the same boat here where we can say if we were single, we know what would happen, but. Oh, so you're, so you're saying you're pretty confident that like you can, you can, you can smooth the, with the ladies. Pretty confident. I know what I need to do. Ooh. Now, are you now stop <laughs> trying to get me into trouble because now, now are you always this confident? No, no. So you, so when you started like spinning the music and getting and getting oh, of in of course there. once I started you know actually being good at what I wanted to do in my life I mean of course I think that's anybody once they get to a certain point right you know now, there's a difference between the jock in high school who can shoot a three pointer you know and everyone's going wild but he ain't gonna be shit after high school but most see, of them are not shit after high school but here's the thing so. You weren't, as we talked about, you weren't an athlete in high school, except for. Oh, my favorite sport. Your favorite sport. Yes. Yes. My favorite sport. What was that sport again? I play sex. <laughs> yes. It's not even funny. It, it, it is. <laughs> You'd have to listen to episode. Um, like 23. Whatever, yeah, yeah. Whatever fucking episode that was. 22. Now, do you judge other men if they manscape? No, it's not my business. I don't really give a shit. Okay. I mean. You're not fucking my girl. You're not oh. fucking anyone close to me. So I really don't care. Now, if they were, would that bother you? I mean, again, so, I really so, don't so, care. So let's just not say Hillary. Let's just say, because, you know, it's a little bit too close to home. Say you're just dating somebody uh -huh. and and you're Mr. All Natural. But then your girl's like, now what, now, what, now what happens? Now, this could apply to Hillary. What happens if your girl said, listen, it's good. But if you did a little little trim trim then I'd, I'd be more down. Hey, listen, you know, you got to keep the ladies happy. So, you know, I'd probably consider it if it's going to make her, you know. It's a good man. That's a real good man. You know what you got to do, Phil. You know, you got to please these ladies because at the end of the day, they can be real bitches if they want to be. Ooh. You know how it works. You're getting into some tough water. I'm just going to kind of let that marinate by itself and just <laughs> really, not, really not answer. <laughs> Re really you're playing good cop, bad cop here? Uh, yeah, you would know, wouldn't you? Yes, I would. Uh-huh. Play good. Yeah, see... I don't know. See, now for myself, I do things a little bit different. Oh, do you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I, I don't, I don't okay. touch, I don't touch the, the chest. See? The yeah. armpits. Because I think the chest and the armpits are one of those things. It's a that, lot of maintenance, too. That, and I just, I feel like it, it's there for a reason kind of thing. I understand, you know, under the belt type of thing. Like, I, I, I get that because, you know. There's a porn industry and stuff like that. Like, I get that, you know, whatever. And, and we're in that, so, you know what I mean? Right, right. Yeah, yeah. That's um, This is just the podcast, and then we have another show live from Phil Rossi's Bachelor Pad that'll be filmed later <laughs> we, this evening. We, we definitely don't. We definitely don't. You cannot find JJ on Pornhub. That's, God, no. Jesus. Um, no. Yes, yeah, so that's the thing. So I, I would that's, say uh, that's HBO Max shit. Now, here's the thing. Though. It, depends on, <laughs> it depends on the person, because there are some people that are you know, like super hairy to the, to the fact where if they take the shirt off, it looks like they're wearing a sweater. They're fucking Sasquatch. That's, yeah. that's exactly what it looks like. And you're like, uh, but that's see, I guess it kind of depends. Everyone's different. So like some people, yeah, you may need to do that. Cause like, if you see someone like that at the beach, you're kind of going, uh, yeah, you let the fucking bear here. You might want to do a little bit of, a little bit of maintenance, like not <laughs> maybe completely yeah. take it all off, but yeah, like, I feel like you should know, right? Like, you like know what looks like too much. Right. Like, here's the one thing. Like, if, if you have um, such an overgrown bush and you're at the beach, right? <laughs> Ladies. Oh, shit. In the bikini. <laughs> this is getting wild. Like, should we end this already? It's only been... See, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about a normal conversation. It was going... And then next, it was like, oh, if, you know... You were whoa, talking... Whoa, whoa, whoa. If we had... You know, if you're on the beach and you look like Sasquatch, maybe do a little maintenance. Next words out of your <laughs> mouth, ladies, if you got a bush. <laughs> and, now, and now we're now we're in this realm. Now we're in this lane. So just keep going because now it's it's off the rails again. It's like, and every episode, it gets quicker and quicker. Like the first couple episodes, we did it like 40 minutes. 
before it got wild. Now we're six minutes in, well, and we're talking about the bush. I thought it's it wild. was okay because we were talking about the manscaping and keeping things trimmed. But that was manscaping. Well, now we're talking about. Now you're talking about like. Now I'm bringing and I, and I, in the ladies, and I know, <laughs> of course. Now you're talking about them getting Brazilian waxes. You're a wild yeah, dude. Well, you, need to well, calm, you need to calm the hell down. Because here's the thing: if I'm walking on the beach, right? And I look over and I fucking see this, you know, how do I word this nicely? <laughs> You're not going to be able to because if I hear welcome to the jungle playing, you know, like <laughs> uh, it's not attractive. So, so trim it uh, <laughs> quite simple. Give yourself a haircut. <laughs> but my, my thing is where, where do you see this? It, you just got to spot it, my friend. You're just looking you're like, oh, God. now Listen, first you're off, on the beach. I'm sure you've seen it. I know you know what I'm talking about. Actually, to be honest with you, I've never like the stuff you're describing to me right you've now. You've never had that problem. Like I've never saw anybody walking on the beach. I see this enormous bush and then welcome to the jungle. Playing. <laughs> like, no, I've never. <laughs> well, in your head, welcome to the jungle starts playing because you're like, what the fuck is going on? It's a pretty there? wild scenario. I mean, I give you like 10 out of 10 on the creativity on it, but I've never, <laughs> not never myself, but, like personally experienced, but so I, I, get really, what, I get what you're saying. You, you, if you're walking across the beach yeah, and there's, you know, some girls laying in a chair, she's all spread out. <laughs> oh, well, <it's, laughs> again, you know, what well, beach are you going to? <laughs> is this some nudist colony you belong to? Like, no, like, like where are you going? There's girls on now. Again, they're le- okay. Let me rephrase this again. You're like laying you're on the take, you're laying it. on the chair, <laughs> spread eagle. You know what I mean? Like it's not. Well, some do this. You can go to fucking Ocean City, and people are doing this. Really? Yes. Oh. So they'll lay there. Maybe you know, I'm not just paying attention by- to all the women just spread eagle on the beach <laughs> with bushes. So like I don't. Is that? Jesus I didn't know it was a thing. Like my god. And then the other thing that bothers me is certain times because you know you, I would never allow my daughter to go out and I know you're fucking snapchatting this <laughs> shit. I was. Actually. Who are you sending this to? This is Amy. Tell Amy I said what's good and right. ask her if she knows what I'm talking about. I want to know if she knows what I'm talking about. About what? When you go to the beach. Okay. And there's a girl with an oversized bush hanging out of her swimsuit. I mean, listen, I'll ask her and we, we can like, I'll see her opinion and see what she says. To be honest with you, I'd be surprised if she was like, yeah, 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 JJ, I, I know what he's talking about. Like, every time I go, all I see is just, like, plethora of bushes just on the beach. Oh, yeah, and Welcome to the Jungle's usually playing, too. Like. <laughs> Get over to the Welcome to the Jungle <laughs> thing. It was, you know, just one of those situations where, you know, you know I'm going with. No, explain to me. No, <laughs> I'm not digging no, myself. You- I'm not digging myself a deeper hole. Thank you, though. Now, now, so now let's, let's flip this around. Now, if, if women are on the beach... And they see you walking by, right? Are they saying like, "Dude's got 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 to shave his chest. Dude's got to trim that bush." I see it popping through the, the shorts <laughs> here. Is that is that what they're saying? Fuck no. And if they are, fuck them. <laughs> so you don't really care. Well, I also wear clothes that fit me. You know what right, I mean? You're not, these, you're, not, you're, not a, you're not in a I'm bikini. Ref- yeah, right. I, God no. Yeah. Why would I do that's that? Pretty, that's pretty disgusting. Yeah. Imagine. <laughs> no. No, thank you. Okay. So. Phil might be. He may be frolicking in his nice magenta bikini, but isn't that a good I, color? I will. Not. That's a good color. Of course, you would say that. So, yeah. So I, I don't know. It's kind of a. I think this new job is making you a little more fruity, my friend. No, it's definitely not making me fruity. No, you're the one talking about looking at men with bushes. Whoa, 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 whoa! I was talking female. You oh. were talking male. That's not true, but we'll okay, we'll sure. Move on. Now, well, play now, it back. Now, play do, it back. Now, do you know they actually have uh, like male razors you can get at manscaped.com that can help you with uh, below did the belt you, trimming? Did you know that there's a spray? What do you mean a spray? You've never like heard Rogaine? of the spray? So there's this spray. I don't know what it's called. I just know of it. This would be a good sponsor for the show to pay us. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We should have thought of that. <laughs> so there is a spray. You spray it on. Mm-hmm. And then it, it makes the hair fall off. Oh, like like you're talking about like a nair, something like that. Yeah, that's just nair. Yeah, don't don't be messing around with that. Uh, or or what you could do is you could just get some pepper spray. No, stop with the pepper spray. Why? You don't you don't <laughs> want to go near pepper spray. You don't want to talk about it. You don't. You definitely don't want to mess with it. Do not listen to JJ. He knows nothing. Do not listen to him at all about anything involving pepper spray. You anything don't, he, involving pepper spray. So again, now you're now you're telling these poor souls. <laughs> 
that are listening. Well, if the you pepper spray it, their balls. Yeah. Stop. I'm going to have to end this. We're going to have to end this. This, this might be it. Nah, they, no way. Episodes have gone from an hour to 45 minutes to now like 15, 15 minutes. It's actually funny how you just got that right on the head that we're at 15 minutes of this episode. It's like just the internal clock in my head. Internal clock, yes. And uh, Well, you're the one in my defense that started this episode. I did. You well, did. I, I just wanted to have a normal conversation we're, about... We're having you, a normal conversation. <laughs> yeah. You, you took it to another level. I was just... I'm just... I was trying to have a conversation about manscaping do you i mean listen do you think it's a little fruity to be honest to be, to be manscaping i guess it depends on your body like we said earlier if you're the grizzly bear walking around on the beach you got to do a little you may need to do a little something but if you know like you and i are talking about a little chest hair and we don't shave our armpits i think that's fucking normal right now now this is a little weird okay i used to have a couple of friends that used to not only shave their chest their armpits below the belt they even did a little some maintenance in uh, on on the backside. Huh? Yeah. Now, well, first I, of all, I don't know. I don't know how you uh, finagle yourself to even. First of all, are, are of, we are we thinking the same thing? Yeah. Why? Where, I don't know. That's that's really. Gross. I think that's going a little far. That's what I mean. Like, what do you like? Like, uh, first of all, how the fuck do you even do that? You gotta be. You gotta be pretty. Uh, Agile. I'd be a little afraid of cutting some shit. Yeah. yeah. Like, I don't. And first of and all, like, who, is, it, is then, it that bad that you have to do it? Yeah. And like, who are you spreading your ass for? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, bro, what, what are, you, are you good? It is 2021. So <laughs> this shit's more normal than it was. Yeah. I mean, you got fucking people like Jojo Siwa coming out. I mean, you got, you know, like 12 and 13 year old kids coming. I'm gender neutral. Yeah. There, there, what? There's, a, there's a lot of that. But like, the, the shaving, like maybe manscaping is going to become, or, or, or we can't call it that anymore. We might offend somebody. Yeah, there's also there's also that. I think. Listen, I think a little trim is good. Keep keep uh, it depends on who you are. Keep everything, you know, I mean? you know. But listen, if you, if your girls listen, I, I like what about what about shaving your legs? Yeah, I don't, about I don't, a guy. Like I, I'm sorry, I don't think if you're a guy, and I just you shave like, your legs because I know you know for me, and I don't even have I don't shave every day. I would say every two to three days I shave. Right, and I think for me. I'm like, man, sometimes like I really don't want to shave. So imagine if you have to shave your, your face, you got to shave your chest, you got to shave, because the hair obviously grows back. And, and the more you shave too, once you start shaving, and then it, it goes, goes back quicker. And then it goes back quicker, and then it'll come back like nasty and like stubbly too. Yep. Uh, now, so as it, an officer, don't you have to shave your face? Yeah, I mean, you should. There is like a level of uh, the you can have you a little have. bit. You can, like it depends on the, part, the department you work for. Okay. There are some departments that are old school where... You know, no, no long hair, no tattoos, no like anything like that. Uh, right, and it, it's up to them. Yeah, it's really up to them. But a good rule of thumb is, you should be clean shaven and, and, and look presentable, right? If you have a big like burly beard and you look like a caveman, and your hair is a mess. I and, just see that being a hazard for you if you have to stop somebody because they can grab onto your beard if you got one yeah. of those big old ones. I mean, I think it's more of a hazard to you. Yeah, I mean that's what I'm saying. It depends on the department, but again, a good rule of thumb is same thing like in the military. You know, usually don't see, you know, big beards, long hair, uh, right. you know, tattoos. It's becoming a little bit more accepted today on, in certain places. Everything's certain becoming more fucking accepted now. But, uh, cause people are sissies, but yeah, for the most part, it's, you know, it's look, look presentable, look clean, look, you know, dress nice. And that's the type of vibe. So in that way, the manscaping is cool. I feel like, obviously, like we said, like now it's a lot more accepted, but like years ago, like if you were, you know, man in the seventies, eighties, unless you were like a swimmer or right. a boxer. The, you know, my dad, who was a swimmer, um, you know, when he was younger, he didn't do that. Yeah, I don't know. Because, like, now if you look at it, they'll tell you the reason swimmers do it is because it slows them down when they swim. The hair slows them down. Is it really? Do you have that much hair? I don't know. Like, I, you know, I'm i not a swimmer. I get it if you had, like, a really, really... I can't even swim, so I'm not really somebody... I'm not an right, expert on that. Right, that's right. We talked about that. You can swim? No. Oh, right. You can't swim either. That's right. And by the way, while I'm on this, is a, this that, is a terrible podcast. This is a horrible <laughs> episode. But because you brought that up, did you see the log flume accident? Remember, we were talking all about that that one day about the log flume and how I said oh, I yeah. had my fear of them. There was well, another like, accident well, like, in our area. You mean like an amusement park? Yes. I really want you to be on a log flume. Yeah. Like, do you? I, I, no, actually. So like we're going to go together. Yeah, but I want you in your own log. 
I don't. Not, I don't no, I'm no, not, you could be behind me. That's I don't want to be I'll in the log with you. No, you you have to. No, be. because here's the thing. I want to be able to record you. Oh no, you will. You're gonna be. Trust me. You're gonna be right there, recording it. All right. So let's say, like, say we went to Disney World, right? And they have Splash Mountain. That's Fuck a, yeah, let's go. That's a good log fume for you. I've been on it. It's it's you know, but it still scares you. I don't like Disney. I'm not as scared because Disney goes through a lot of yeah. precaution, and they they have drills that they do at night. If right. something goes wrong, how to evacuate the people, what to do, step one, step two, step three. But then you got these other places um, that you'll see on the news, like, you know, even Ocean City when it happens. Well, you got a bunch of fucking 16 year olds that don't know what to do. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that makes me feel real great. At least at Disney, yeah, there's see, so many people in those hidden tunnels that I, are ready for that. I do. I do agree with you as far as I do feel safer at Disney because I do feel like their protocols and their guidelines are a lot more strict. Like, I mean, listen, you have to have certain guidelines, whether it's Six Flags, but like even at Six Flags, I don't feel safe because I feel like nobody's really running Six Flags. Like I know there are managers, I know there are employees, but when I'm at Disney, I feel like they have so much to lose. Now, not that nothing can happen, things have happened, people have gotten hurt there, but for the majority of of the thousands and millions of people that visit there every year, the incidents and the accidents are like few or so, like they don't really happen because- They can prevent them before they happen. Yeah, there's so much at stake- and they really don't, you know, push the limits. And even if they do, they're always monitoring and making sure and double checking and all that other stuff because, you know, it's Disney. It's the most visited place in the world, Disney World in Orlando. So I think that would be fun to do an episode from there. It would. I mean, that would be awesome. Like, I don't know how we'd get permission to do it, but and I don't know how. And this we can would, make Club Mickey a reality. Exactly. And again, we've gotten from manscaping to Disney World. I mean, again, like I don't. You can't. You really can't script this kind of just. But that's why we called it. Anything goes. That is true. Because I knew when I came to you with the idea that I didn't want to stick to one thing. Like you have sports podcasts, you have all these different, you know, music, and I want to be able to go wherever the fuck I want to go. Right. If I want to talk about manscaping, I'm going to talk about manscaping. If I want to talk about Club Mickey, I'm going to talk about Club Mickey. If I want to talk about Phil's bachelor party, I'm going to talk <laughs> about Phil's bachelor party. Like this is what we're going to do. True. True. So we learned today so far, manscaping for the right person, it's good. Right. For JJ, he likes to go on natural, baby. Yeah, baby. He likes to, him and Hillary, they, they, they're they kicking it old Here school. Here we go. Here, they're kicking they, it old school. You poor know, Hillary gets brought into this. And, and yeah, I mean, it's not Hillary's fault. It's just unfortunately she's with you, so it just comes right. It just yeah, comes I, with the territory. I, I told her it comes with it. So this this reminds me and leads me to my, uh, my final point. It'll wrap everything up. Since you don't manscape, when is the... Oh, here it goes. <laughs> well, I didn't even say anything I, yet. <laughs> I know where you're going, though. I didn't say anything. I know exactly where you're going. So this leads me to my final question. When will you and Hillary finally go on your date? You've been wanting to, to go skinny what, dipping. What date? The skinny dipping. Yeah, no. It's not happening. You're still deciding? I told you it's not happening. So like, what place have you picked out? It's not happening. You're thinking like July, August? It's not happening. All right, September. You're going to wait until it's a little bit cooler out. I get it. It's not happening. You know, but here's the thing. I told you, like, J- July, August is going to be really hot. So you'll, you'll want to skinny dip because then you get the full I'll put it to you this full way. Let, let me know once you and Amy have gone and done it. And Maybe we already have. Oh, have you? May- I said maybe. How'd I- it go? It was nice. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to listen to this and go, you fucking told him. <laughs> it was nice. Was it? Where'd you go? Huh? Where'd you go? We didn't go anywhere. Yeah. We were waiting for you to go to tell us how, how it was because... Oh, no. Well, I mean, you brought it to my attention. I, I mean, I would never think of something like that. Oh, she, No, I, I would Man, I really need to pull up that episode for you, don't I? What episode? The episode where you started this. <laughs> no, I remember I was looking at a list. It was like, fun things to do. And it was and like... You, J- said, it, it you was, said you had one. No, it was JJ Golick's blog. It was, yeah. <laughs> and where'd you find that? RossiEntertainment.com? <laughs> It was JJ's Golic blog. It had all these cool things. It had like bowling, arcade, a night out, a dinner. And number one on your list was skinny dipping. And I was like, was oh, it? man. Like, I can't believe JJ would Shit. do something like this. I must have an imposter online. So I'm just, I'm, you know, listen, one day you'll come clean. We'll be able to talk about an air it all out here. Air what out? That you and Hillary either want to go skinny dipping or already have and are still being a little uh, like, I get it. It's, it's a hard thing to really commit to and really say but it's okay we're all friends here are we we are. <laughs> we're all friends i feel like um 
you know, Phil needs to go and try the skinny dipping thing before he volunteers now, Hillary wait, and I to do it. Now, if we talk about skinny dipping for a second, what would be the part that scares you? Like, so mm. say, say if it's in a public place. Well, if it's in a public place, I mean, there's a lot that can go wrong with that. No, but everybody there is also there for the same, the same so, thing. Uh, then why don't you just go to a fucking nude beach? That's what I'm saying. So technically that's not skinny dipping. True, but now and here, I'm fat, so it would be <laughs> chunky dunk. How many times do we have to say this? Now, fat lives matter. <laughs> now, here's the thing: if you go to, now I've never been to a nudist beach, but if you go to one, sure you haven't. I really, I really, honestly, I have not. But if you go to one, do you think people are staring at each other? Like probably checking out the checking out the goods. Like how that's could you not? You, that's probably what you would do. Yeah, I probably would. I, I mean, to be honest with you, I don't think I, I would have the balls to go to a nudist beach. Uh, you know, it's one of those things where it's not going to happen, and you think it is, but... Oh, you would go? Nah. No? Nah. Nah, I'm not into it, because you know what? Here's the problem with the nudist beach. It's not like it says attractive people only. That is true. You get some pigs out You're there. You're going to get some... Um, all I see is a bunch of shit that can go wrong around there. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised more stuff doesn't i mean maybe it does and everybody's just cool i don't know like that would be a cool thing to that's ask. like some sweet home alabama shit <laughs> that would be a cool thing to ask like get people's opinions to see like have you ever gone to a nudist beach like what are the vibes yeah. what goes on like is it comment below is it is it, yeah is it just like a regular beach and everybody just minds their own business or do you got like a bunch of swinger shows or what the fuck's going on there yeah like because i feel like if, if you've never been to one or if you don't know that like the vibe or the style or the lifestyle we think it's like swingers people like looking at each other like just dick swinging all over the place uh, well, what like, i want to know is are you are you allowed to have alcohol at that beach because i think that'll change everything right well now it's even worse because now you got people on a nudist beach that are drunk right and you know maybe, maybe all the maybe they got like hidden cameras and they're like shooting pornos and <laughs> that's, what I mean. that's what i'm saying like now it's going wild it's like, pro it's probably honestly if you talk to somebody who's been to one or knows one or whatever it's probably nothing like that at all. It's probably literally like just a regular beach. And probably a lot of people just, you know, go there because they can. They don't necessarily. Or maybe it's like a bucket list thing where they think it's wild. And they just want to try it once and, and just say that they did All you it. hear is chariots of fire as you're walking out. <laughs> do, 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 do. You always think there's like a random soundtrack playing from whether it's a, a nice young lady with a, a bush or if it's, <laughs> you know, people on like a, a nudist beach. But it's interesting. We have to get... Why the hell's the cavalry here? Trip the bush. <laughs> I mean, as long as you make yourself laugh, that's all that really matters. I mean, I someone's got to laugh around I, here. I don't know if anybody else is laughing, but as long as you... Like, I'm laughing. I'm having a good time. Yeah, it, it is pretty good. You got anything else for me? Um, How's your water? How was that? Deer the, Park? The water's good. Oh, the last thing I want to say before we end this episode... Here we fucking go. Well, you don't even know what I'm going to say. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I know exactly. See, here's the problem, because I look at your face, and I know what you're going to do. So, JJ comes over, Yep. Here and he go. brings, uh, he brings a, a two-liter bottle of soda with him. Always, baby. Now, <laughs> he Always. says it like it's a good <laughs> Always got my soda with me. So, got he it. brings it over, and I'm thinking like, oh, he's rocking the Dr. Pepper. Then I take a closer look. So good. And my man's got himself... Dr. Pop. Let me tell you where now, I buy wait, it, too. Wait, let me tell you where I buy it. Since you want to make fun of it, I'll what, tell you where I buy it. Dollar General? Save a lot. <laughs> the same thing. Got to go to Sal. It's Got to like, go to Sal. It's like, it's and like actually, Aldi, for, Aldi, like 10 bucks, for like 10 bucks, here's what I do, right? I go in, there's like a whole case of it. Right. Of those two liters, I buy them. All right, so he's drinking Dr. Pop. Now, I'm, I'm assuming, because it looks like the knockoff Dr. Pepper. It is. But That's, it's got, I personally like it because, one, it's cheaper, all right? It's cheaper, and I like more of a cherry feel. You know, I like the flavor of cherry. So, I, I'm, why is that funny? Because I'm looking <laughs> at your face. Your face makes me laugh. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks. I don't know what else to say now, about that. You got a little Doctor Pop action. A little Doctor Pop. I'm drinking it right now in my Hydro Flask. It's great. Yeah. I can't. Listen, all this free advertisement you're fucking giving out here, dude. dude bro, bro, nobody's gonna buy Doctor Pop. They don't even. Nobody's ever seen this. Oh yes, they have. Who? Now, Anyone that goes to Sal. Now, let me see. Now, Here we go. Wait, He's going to read the nutrition facts. <laughs> now, Here we go. Now, don't tell me that you drink one of these a day, like a no. two liter. No. All right. That's good. No. So, um, if you're lucky, 
to be honest with you, and this is very wasteful of me because I don't like flat soda, Mm -hmm. but it's very likely that I may get one more glass out of this and then the rest gets thrown away. Okay. So, so I know I thought we talked like on episode four that we were, you were going to stop drinking soda. Yeah. Well, that has not happened. Just, uh, I can't. It hasn't happened. It's just like skinny dipping is not going to happen. Listen, you're Are definitely you seeing a trend here. Yeah. You don't listen. I see a trend. So you're looking at sodium 25 milligrams. Here in this we bitch. go. Total carbohydrate. Woo. 38 grams. Yay. This is not a joke. Woohoo! You have. May the odds be ever in your favor. Where are the calories? The calories are 150 per serving. Mm-hmm. Serving size is 12 ounces. Yes. So how many ounces is in that? 44. So for every 12, it's 150. Okay. Do the math. Go ahead. I don't want to do the math because it's way too high. Yeah. So this is going in the damn trash. No, nah, not going to get out of trash. here with this Dr. Pop. Wrap this bitch up and tell these people the, the socials. I think you need to tell them the socials for once. No, you do. Well, let's see if I remember. It's been so damn long. True. At anything goes PJ, anything goes PJ.com, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, everything. All right, that's it. That's, that's enough. it. JJ, I'm Phil Rossi. Peace. From Phil Rossi's Bachelor Pad. This is Anything Goes with Phil Rossi and J.J. Golick.